Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is October 12th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to shift over to the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, where today in Europe, it is very hot for this time of year. In fact, in France today, new records were set as temperatures rose to as high as 30 degrees Celsius in some places, which is the mid 80s in Fahrenheit reading. And in this Earth Null School map, we have an upper 70s and lower 80s temperature indicated in central France. And while this might not seem like crazy blazing hot temperatures, I just like to remind you that it is autumn in Europe and this is very abnormal temperatures for Europe at this time of year. Looking much further to the south, we find similar temperatures in the Northern Sahara Desert. So very warm, very hot conditions for this time of year occurring in Europe as part of a tropical flow ahead of a very odd Hurricane Leslie, which according to model forecasts and the National Hurricane Center may strike Portugal over the next couple of days as either a tropical, cycle, uh, tropical storm or a hurricane, which would be an unprecedented, unprecedented event if it did occur. Going back to temperatures, I'd just like to note that temperatures in these parts of Europe at this time are in the range of five to 14 degrees Celsius above normal for this time of year. So much, much warmer than normal temperatures for this time of year. As noted, uh, through the statement from Keys van der Loon uh, in France today, never before this warm, this late in the season, over 30 degrees Celsius in Mont Luchon in the center of the country. So mid 80s degree Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius readings in France, never before seen heat records that are preceding the westward movement of Hurricane Leslie. Now, Leslie has been a bit of an odd storm for many reasons, one of which due to the fact that the storm itself has lingered for now a number of weeks. This is just a storm that just won't go away and is now moving through an area of ocean where we typically do not see tropical cyclones to the east of Spain and, and the east of the entrance of the Mediterranean Sea in, in the region of the Straits of Gibraltar. The storm is moving off toward the west and is expected to maintain hurricane status according to the National Hurricane Center through the evening time tomorrow and could strike the coast or brush the coast of Portugal as a tropical, uh, as a tropical storm and run through southern France as either a tropical storm or as a tropical depression. In the satellite imagery, we can see a very clear picture of Leslie off to the east of Portugal and to the south of the, some of the islands in the eastern Atlantic getting picked up by a trough and moved rather rapidly toward the east as it approaches Portugal and Spain. Looking at climatology, I'd just like to note that these tracks that we see in this region of the world, the, the gray tracks indicate extra tropical storms or tropical depressions. And for this region of the world, world, that's pretty much all we've had. If Leslie were to strike Portugal and Spain as a tropical storm or as a hurricane, it would be a major, uh, a, a historic event. Yet another one, for this year, a, a number of many that we've seen so odd intense intensity behavior for hurricanes, odd intensification behavior for hurricanes, very, very heavy rainfall for hurricanes, and, and here an, an odd location for a hurricane and an odd risk of a strike in Spain and Portugal. 
just looking at the GFS model run, I just I'd like to show you a, another model showing Leslie moving off toward the east and by midday tomorrow approaching the coast of Spain and Portugal as what appears to be a hurricane strength system lurking off the coast of Portugal as a 983 millibar storm, which would be a strong tropical storm or weak hurricane and, and making landfall as a 981 millibar storm. And if this storm maintained a warm core, that would be a tropical storm or hurricane strike in the region of Portugal. Looking again at the Earth, Earth Null School map, I'd just like to note sea surface temperatures in this region. And just flipping over to the ocean, it's a very stormy environment for the North Atlantic. You see these wave heights just off of Ireland and Scotland here in the range of the mid 30s as far as feet go. And wave heights associated with Leslie in the range of the mid 40s feet, about 14 meters. Uh, looking at sea surface temperatures, sea surface temperatures throughout the Atlantic have been much warmer than normal. And this is certainly the case off of Spain and Portugal with sea surface temperatures in the range of nearly a degree Celsius above normal where Leslie is at present and along Leslie's track in the range of about a degree Celsius unless the storm starts to track toward Gibraltar in which case sea surface temperatures in this region are about 2.7 degrees Celsius or 4.5 degrees Fahrenheit above normal according to this Earth Null School map. Switching over to just direct sea surface temperatures, these are sea surface temperatures in the range of 23.7 degrees Celsius or mid 70 degrees Fahrenheit to the south of Spain and, and Portugal, certainly enough to support a tropical cyclone. So warmer than normal sea surface temperatures helping to contribute to Leslie's odd path toward Portugal, its ability to maintain tropical storm and, and even potentially hurricane intensity as it approaches Spain and Portugal, which would be yet an, another odd event in which we see the fingerprints of human forced climate change due to fossil fuel burning primarily affecting weather events around the world in 2018. And I'm pretty sure that the experts are going to say that Leslie, both Leslie's odd path and maintained intensity at tropical storm or even hurricanes status as it approaches Portugal and Spain has some human caused climate change fingerprints on it. So thank you for joining me and I will be chatting with you soon.